hella beard, it's your boy Big Beard B And we back for another edition of Big Beard Business So I recently did a video talking about fragrances that I wish I would have discovered sooner And that one came to me by way of a subscriber's choice This one also comes to me by way of subscriber's choice And this is three fragrance houses worth completing the entire collection I thought this one was a cool video because I haven't done anything like this in the past And I've recently came across a few fragrance houses that I don't own much of But I plan on completing the whole series so first up on the list today we have a fragrance house that i have never smelled before until recently now i've seen their presentations online and always thought their bottles looked cool and wondered what they smelled like and these things smell a lot different than what i thought they smelled like these things actually smell really good the fragrance house that i'm talking about is t-h-o-o -O, or the house of Ooh. Now, I do not own any of their full bottles or full presentations at this moment, but I have a ton of samples, and these aren't all of them. I have a bunch more in the fragrance lounge, but these fragrances here, I've smelled them, and pretty much all of these things were on point. I think a lot of things that I like about this house thus far is, man, they, they do a really really great job of putting some fragrances out there that to me don't smell much like anything that's, that's on the market today and they also have their own little twist with it now what i've have noticed in these samples that i have is you have these here and then all of these ones in the white packaging seem to have some type of gourmand approach to them that's what i get and this one's called what about pop now what about pop i just pulled this one out randomly now this is not one that i think a lot of people would love to walk around smelling like but i feel like this one is a good quirky scent this one kind of reminds me of a jelly belly the one specifically that tastes like popcorn okay uh, this one is supposed to be a, what about pop this is about popcorn all right um this one has uh, salty popcorn you have hawthorn you have caramel you have luna flower milk cream vanilla bean amber ebony vetiver and benzoin this thing is interesting to say the least and i thought it was a cool fragrance to have within the collection so i don't own anything from this house right now but they do have a lot to offer and this is the house so far out of everything i've smelled i've enjoyed with the exception of maybe one or two and this was just initial tries i have to try them out on skin and give them official wearings before i tell i don't like them but so far it's like i'm going to complete this entire collection it may take me a while because they are expensive and they um they're not readily available where i am so i have to order them i know crystal fragrance plans on carrying these things so you guys can check her out she might have some of these things available on her site i'll be sure to link them there for you but let me know what your thoughts are on the house of oud because i'm really feeling this one now this next fragrance house is one that i do own bottles of now and this for actual fragrance houses the house that made that list of fragrances that i wish i knew about sooner and um, I know you guys are tired of hearing this story, and he's probably tired of me talking about him on his channel, but um, shout out to Dan over at Scented Waters because he put me on with this house. He actually sent me some samples like, boom, here you go. I'll leave his channel linked down below because he might be able to tune y'all into a few things as well. But I smelled the initial fragrance that he sent me, which was a little sample of Hachivat here, okay? So this one here is the first one that he sent me, and I was like, boom. This thing is amazing. Because of this, I went on a blind buying series. I know I talk about the fragrances that I picked up, but I never really go in depth on them and show them to you. So um, I have some that I have today, but I also placed another order um, last night on fragrances. So um, I obviously expecting them to arrive here soon. So this one here is Hachivat from Nishani. Um, we also have um ombre calibra all right so this one i have in the collection i haven't worn this one much but this one is uh must it's vanilla it's bergamot i do plan on diving into this one a bit more i hear a lot of great things about it I haven't spent much time with this one um equality fragrances i think he posted this one and tagged me or someone tagged me in the picture and then uh, i was like yeah i picked it up but i haven't spent much time with it so i do need to do that um i also have fan your flames this is another one that i get a lot of good feedback on and i haven't sp spent much time with these fragrances but these are ones that i've smelled once i got them in and i really did enjoy and this one is coconut rum tobacco um interesting scent one that gets a lot of love i hope i did not buy that one twice no i didn't 
<laughs> I tried to think if that was in my order yesterday, but it was a uh, hundred silent ways. Um, that was, was in the order yesterday. Um, Ani. So I've talked about this one on the channel. Um, this thing is straight beast. Yeah. No jokes, no playing around. Yeah. This thing, they went all in on this one. Like they used to say, stick your big toe, <laughs> stick your toe in that food. Yeah. This thing here is, is on fire. This is dope one here. This one, they should, they should have named this one Fanny Flames because that's fugo. That's hot. It is. And the final one that I have in my collection today, although I already purchased other ones, I do not have them in my possession, so I won't count them yet, just in case something happens in the shipping. Uh, this one is a Tuba Rosa. So Tuba Rosa is this very, very floral scent. They have a bunch of floral different notes in this one. And I have to revisit this. I'm not sure. I sprayed this one and I was just feeling kind of crazy. I'm not sure if it was because of this or what, but this one does get a lot of love, but the fragrance house in itself, I've been really, really satisfied with. Um, I'll continue blind buying these things. Um, I'm taking a lot of recommendations out there, but their collection is getting smaller and smaller for what I have to get, um, and unless they continue to release some other fragrances out there. So I'm diving in, trying to find it, but this is a house that I'm sure that I will complete. So those are five that I have. I have two or three more on the way. I have 100 Solid Ways. I have a Sultan Vetiver, and I need to pick up um, Cargos. I'm not sure if I put that one in the cart yet. So I need to go back and check that out to see if I ordered it, because I'm not sure if I did, but I think I ordered those two for sure. And um, that will put me at a total of seven for that house. So I'll continue to dive into that one and pick up every fragrance along the way, because I've been pleasantly surprised and happy with the purchases I've picked up overall. So if you're looking for a house to explore, I'm probably late to the party here. Check the house of Nishani out, and that is one I'm completing for sure. And the third house I want to talk about today, the third and final house that I'm going to talk about today, I actually own two fragrances from this house, um, but I plan on completing them. They don't have a ton of fragrances out there, at least that I've been able to come across. So hopefully I'm not like uh, digging myself a hole here. Even if I do, who cares? I mean, it is what it is. I'm going to get the fragrances anyway. Uh, this one is from the house of BDK, all right? So I think I've done the official review on Creme de Cure, um, which is a really nice, creamy, leather-based fragrance. And then there's also um, Rouge Smoking that I have as well. I think it's called Rouge Smoking or Smoking Rouge, one of the two. But I have uh, four samples of the fragrances from them as well that I've really enjoyed. And I don't think they have much more in terms of men's fragrances um, than the ones that I've mentioned thus far, including these four. I think there may be like another two or three out there that um, I need to try out, but I'm probably going to complete this series as well. But this one is Nuita Stable. We have Tuberosa Imperial, Oud Abram, and uh, Pasa Pure or something of that nature. All right, so I'm um, happy with those. Happy with the ones I have. Um, Nashani. Boom, amazing house. And then the house of Oud, that's another house that I should have included in why did I not uh, know about these fragrances. But I don't I don't have a bottle yet, okay? So I'm telling you in advance, when you see me going crazy on the house of Oud fragrances, you will understand why. I know Crystal Fragrance um, is carrying or planning on carrying um, the house of Oud, and I know for sure that she has BDK readily available for any of you guys who are looking for something. So as always, you can use my code over there. I'll leave it linked and listed down below if you want to go ahead and do some savings on the way. I don't get any money on that. So just so you guys know, I'm just looking out because we are a fam. So those are three houses I plan on completing this year, three collections. Hopefully, you know, my collection adds up on your list of a fragrance house that you are looking to complete. There you have it. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beard Beat him. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Drop it down below a fragrance house that you are looking to complete or a collection you are looking to complete. And as always, hit the guy damn